In this demo, we're going to be working with list controls. First, let's go ahead and create a new page, a web form, and let's make sure it's a code behind and call it listcontrols.aspx. Make sure it's in your demo folder. Go ahead and go to the design view. Go to your toolbox. And drag a drop down list into your div tag. You'll notice a smart tasks panel shows up with three options. The one we're going to look at for right now is edit items. In a later chapter, we'll be going over the choose data source. Go ahead and add a list item and give it text C sharp. Notice the value is automatically filled in for you. Values and text can be different. Let's go ahead and add two more items. Change the text to Visual Basic. And then your third list item, go ahead and call it the CSS for cascading style sheets. Go to your source view, drag a text box into your source below your drop down list. Copy the three list items from your drop down list and move them into or in between the server control tags for the checkbox list. Just a little shortcut to add the items and show you how it works in the actual code. And go to design view. Let's add a button. Let's also add a label. This is where we're going to put the items that are selected when the application runs. Start with that. Go back to design view. Let's move the label down below the button. Give it a little bit of space. Just leave all the names of the objects as their default. Double click on your button so that we can create the click event in the code behind page for button one. Okay. Go ahead and uh, let's create some text for the label. And what we're going to do is pull the data from the drop down list and the checkbox list and put it into the label based on the items that are currently selected. Take the drop down list, selected value. And this is a line break HTML tag. And then for our checkbox list, we're going to loop through each item in our checkbox list. And again, the items is the collection for each, just loops through each item. I'm going to go ahead and pull the value of selected, or see whether or not it is true. If it is true, we're going to go ahead and add it to our label. And again, we're also going to go ahead and put a line break so that it's clean when it actually gets displayed in your web browser. Then close our brackets, save, and run. That's an error that you'll see once in a while. Um, Visual Studio 2010 sometimes requires you reboot or restart Visual Studio. Sometimes even a reboot of the, uh, the operating system. By the way, a simple reboot will fix that. And there we go.